place together. Going to the mosque to tie the knots. She was dressed in all white for us. So basically, we used three days for our wedding ceremony. The whole process started on Friday. Hello, guys. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So, guys, this is my first time ever watching and reacting to a Muslim wedding. I'm so curious to know how Muslims coordinate their wedding. So, this is in Tamil, Ghana. So, let's check it out, guys. Wow. I love the cooking part. Oh, she's so pretty, guys. <laughs> oh, so cute. It's a simplicity, simplicity for me, guys. Samia and Farouk's wedding process. So basically, we use three days for our wedding ceremony. The whole okay. process started wow. on Friday. Friday, nothing really happened. So during the day, nothing really happened. We were just cooking, like getting ready for the big day. But but evening, we put henna on her, design her, then we keep her in the room. The reason why we keep her in the room is because we want the henna to make her glow. As a bride, we should glow. And the henna is the only thing that makes a bride glow. Saturday morning. So that is when the cooking, the like real cooking starts, cooking and then getting ready. So oh, wow. they slaughtered a big cow to use for the whole occasion. And Saturday, we made, they made jollof. Now, now you should taste it like that. That was jollof. They made teased with ayoyo, teased with fry okro. I mean, everything, everything was here. Then Saturday evening by 3 to 4 p.m., we dressed her and got her out to come and dance with her friends and family. So That's all of that and clumped to the D day on Sunday. And that was what we all witnessed. Going to the mosque to tie the knots between so uh, our dear sister Samiha and then Mr. Omar Farouk in the morning. Samia so, mean, she, she was dressed in all white from head to toe. That is the most important day like period for the ceremony from the most cousin came with family and friends we took pictures everything was just amazing went back like they went back to prepare and then come for the reception because we were still here having fun merry making taking pictures everything was just beautiful so we had this our uh, bridesmaid had their gale like their ashok we call it ashok they had their ashok then the young she has her nieces and nephews, they had their suit kids, and then so their big sisters so had yes. Yeah. Everybody like was just looking awesome. So they came back, we had a reception, there was a lot of food, drinks, dancing, everything was just beautiful. Happy. Can you listen to songs in weddings, Muslim weddings? Yes. Thank the Almighty Allah for seeing us true. All we pray is for them to continue to love and cherish themselves to maintain this whole matrimony they have brought themselves together to enjoy. Today comes to the final end of the ceremony. The ceremony. And basically what happens is that the bride, they bring the bride in the evening, the wedding day evening. That's the last day of the bride from her home. 
to our home. And what happened is, the next day, what happened is that the family comes together. Something we call PNK. But basically, before, before it even starts, the bride's side, they will bring in fufu. And there's a porridge called kanwa kuku that they will bring in from their home. That starts the ceremony. Those two items have to come from the bride's home. And we then start the ceremony from there. And the bride has her friends around her. And we have our own things that we are also doing in the compound. We have our activities that we do in the compound, which is organized by our mothers. Yeah. Uh, it's being organized by our mothers. They, they have their friends that are com coming over. And we have the family to come in over. Today is actually a special day. Why so? Because we have all manner of people and activities happening today. We have the bride, uh, the groom's mother doing her activities. The father has his visitors. The aunties also have their visitors. And they are not at one place. They have separate places that they have. Towards afternoon time, we, that's when we start preparing the, yes, start preparing the bride to be our door. The final, yeah, the final activity. So more or less, uh, the bride is brought out. Okay, like sent and she's veiled. So covered, covered. covered. Actually, what happens is that they take the bride to the to our aunties to get some moral advice. Yes, before before that before before they unveil before they will bring her up they will bring her back to dress up and put the veil on her and get her a bowl. In our days, there used to be water in the bowl. But now of it's late... Now some yes, use, but you don't... Yes, but of late, it's just the empty bowl that you hold. And what some do is that they will just... The bride and the groom, they will negotiate the price. I think it's even the bridesmaid that will go to the groom. They will negotiate the price and that ends it there. No, but normally they would like to go around and Yes, some do that, them. but it's now options. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. They now have these two options that they will just go to the room, they will negotiate the price and they will give them money and that ends it then. And they then come to us, the sisters and the rest of the family. Mm -hmm. No, let's extract money from <laughs> They extract money from us. That's what well, they it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely activity. Why? Because um, it's a beginning of two families coming together. So the interaction, the funny aspect of it, all makes it lively. And um, you would see cousins of the bride coming in, cousins who are like playmates, coming in with another bowl, trying to sort of sell the water to us, the, um, the grooms. Trying to take over from the bride. They actually try to take just what, like what happened last night yeah. is similar thing. They also, try, but with her, they didn't do it. But usually they do that. They also come out with a veil. It doesn't matter which color or which. They you have to buy hairs. Is. You have to buy hairs before you buy from the bride. <laughs> if not, it won't. It won't. It won't. Uh, you see your wife's face. <laughs> so that is basically the. I mean, it, it just brings the two families together, the connection, and I mean, you get to know each other. You know that this is your husband's sister. This is your husband's. I mean, that's how it begins. It helps strengthen the relationship of the set. And we end up taking pictures and the bride, the bridesmaids, they end up cleaning the whole house. But they are lucky that they've come, almost everything is done. But usually what happens is that they leave the pots, leave them dirty, leave the compound dirty, leave all the dishes, everything for them to clean it up. But with us, what I mean? With our Times family, we don't Times do that. <laughs> uh, we just try to help them. We have people that you come into the aspect of the bride, Monday. Yes, Monday. that's what I'm saying yeah. because you know they, we didn't allow her to, 
the bride, they were supposed to even uh, yeah. the bridesmaid were supposed to even cook the afternoon dish for their husband. But they didn't do it. Our parents took care of it there now. So basically, Those days they'll put a big pot and you have to stir house, some to When it comes to certain tradition, we just try to cut it off. Uh, yes, break it off and just we just want everything to be. But if their activities were at our auntie's place, it would have been something else. They wouldn't have gotten it. More traditional. Oh, more traditional. Oh, wait, that one there. <laughs> They would have by now. There will be some tour there. But the, the thing is not to show them to show that you can really do, but just to stay. It's like see, you can cook more or less. Yes. But you don't really need to stay, you can just take the stick or the Yes and do and just demonstrate a little. It shows that you have prepared the food for me. We are grateful. We are wishing successful marriage. Yes, we are going to come to yes. Adoris of an Adoris. We are expecting great stories ahead. It has just started and we expect more and greater stories ahead. Stories that will never end. Stories that will keep us growing and growing and growing. this video this is my first time actually you know attending a wedding through a video a muslim wedding through a video and i can't wait to attend one real life like it was really beautiful like they interviewed the auntie of the bride then they also interviewed the sisters of the groom it takes three days to hold a muslim wedding the first day is about the cooking the second day they'll conclude on the cooking the third day they'll go to the mocks to join them and after joining them, they'll do their reception party. Then from there, you know, they will not do the last celebration right. So that is why it's three days. But I see the last day so much work. I see the last day as a day that it involves a lot of activities in which oof, the couples can be really stressed out on that last day because you're going to the mocks to be joined together. Then reception, after the reception, you do the celebration, right? It's a whole lot of activities, a lot of things to do. So I love how they started with the cooking and the fact that everybody comes together to cook for the couple. They come together to cook. You know, in Christian um, wedding nowadays, people are advancing instead of them yeah christians some christians to cook together but some people to cut down you know some stress they get a caterer that they can trust well so that they'll just hand everything over to the caterer pay the caterer the money she'll do everything and the outfit the couple wore was beautiful the traditional outfit i i don't know whether that traditional outfit was worn on that same sunday or they wore it on saturday because that's the one that kind of confused me a bit. But that was a beautiful one. And when she wore her all white to the mocks, like, that was beautiful. Like, the hijab looks so pretty on her, and she looks so good. And her um, bridesmaids were looking so elegant, like, beautiful. The fact that they, they were able to cover their head nicely and still look, you know, cool and nice. You know, the reception party was on point, the decor, everything was just like Christian style of, you know, holding a wedding because that's how most Christians love to hold their wedding day. I don't know that, you know, Muslims have advanced when it comes to wedding celebration and the fact that they also listen to music because most of the videos I react to on Islam, they do talk about, you know, music being Aram, music being forbidden. So, if music is forbidden in Islam, why is it that people listen to it doing on their wedding day why is that muslims listen to it on their wedding day is it acceptable but it was a beautiful one beautiful one i really enjoyed the whole segment you know the cooking aspect you know the unity among them you know ah man now this muslim wedding is more like a christian way of doing the wedding christian wedding way like i just love the fact that they all vibe where they celebrate is really big just imagine the decor the money that was spent for this wedding it looks like a very very you know luxurious wedding big one 
you know, based on the fact that it's a Muslim, I thought it would be something small. No, and they, 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 they were able to handle things well. They were not too religious. They were not the other way around. They just did what was right for them to do at that point in time. And I love her outfit. Her, her outfit was... And their dance moves, everything was just on point for me. And whew, what I can take from this video that I'm learning for the first time is the three-day celebration aspect. You know, them putting Lali on her hand and legs so that she can glow well. You know, it's normal for a bride to put that on her body. And then the last rite celebration they spoke about, that really came to me as a shock. That was a beautiful one. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.